Well, hello everyone. Good to be with you again for another devotional and uh, such a special week for us as believers. You know, it's Easter, the lead up to Easter and obviously Easter being the death and the resurrection of Jesus, the most defining moment in history for mankind. And I don't know about you, but I am so thankful for Jesus. You know, I was so lost. I was so broken. I was so empty before I encountered him. Before I started to walk this journey with him and now I have life, I have purpose, I have love, I have hope and it's all because Jesus came and he died for our sin to reconcile us back to God and then he rose again for our victory and I've been thinking, you know, God, what are you doing in this season? What are you doing in your church, in believers in this season? And something I feel he's been speaking to me about is that he is restoring he's strengthening and he's deepening our relationships now ultimately that's what easter was it was god coming to restore and reconcile uh, mankind back into a relationship with him but also in this time where we're kind of restricted we've had to slow down things have been kind of put in place by our government um you know this is where i've really realized in my own life man i am busy i am distracted and, you know, just spending so much more time with my kids and with my wife. Obviously, you can see in the background, this is a picture of our wedding day where I'm smooching my wife. And, uh, you know, I just really feel God has highlighted to me, uh, Lachlan, I want you to sow this time into the relationships of your life. And so just being able to adore my wife and adore my children and spend this time with them has been so precious. And then I realize in Genesis chapter 1, verse uh, 27, sorry, I'll go from verse 26. Uh, this is talking about the creation of mankind. Uh, verse 26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Something we need to understand about God is he's a relational God. And this is what I love so much. Even before he created mankind, he was relational. He was the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit in a perfect, holy communion. And then we as people got thought of in the heart and the mind of God to be invited into that, that, that relationship and that communion and that dance of perfect love. And then obviously sin broke that. And, you know, sin throughout history has been breaking relationships ever since. But thank God for Jesus that he came to restore our brokenness and to restore uh, a righteousness, a right standing between him and us but also to how to have right relationships with others. So I would encourage us in this time, let's, let's make it fruitful. Let's be intentional. Let's have great, strong, healthy families, healthy marriages, healthy relationships. And I believe in this, in this time, he's deepening, he's strengthening, he's restoring, and he's even reconciling. And so there's probably something right there for each and every person in our relationships, what what is God doing? Because you and I are created in the image of God, in His likeness, and He is a relational God. So as you open His Word today, just start to see that He is a relational God. Thank Him that He came to save us and reconcile us back into relationship with Him. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you soon.